This documentary video is the full version following the TV interview with Matrix TV and Out There TV. The lost symbol of Ra. What makes the symbol lost? That is the question. Dan Brown's new book has the theme of the Ra symbol and does not explain why it is lost. My name is Wayne Herschel. I'm author of the book called The Hidden Records and this is my story. The ancient obelisk in Egypt has a beginning that predates 2500 BC. There was once a massive obelisk pyramid that was gold capped. It was in the middle of the pyramid field and all the pyramids replicate the stars as I show in my book. But the obelisk itself is completely misunderstood. Many thousands of years later, up to the time of Christ and uh, a thousand years after Christ, there was the tall obelisk that has been replicated in Washington DC. It is not a coincidence the Washington DC obelisk is the design that it is. It too maps out the position of a star in a grand star map. The story begins in Egypt. My theory explains as above so below how the stars are built on the ground using monuments and revered to isolate one important star of the so-called gods, our human ancestors. The, the stars that you see in the image above are in a triangulation formation. There are three sun-like stars that are in uh, a grouping near the Pleiades. The Pleiades is a group of seven stars to the right of this triangulation formation. It has a beginning that ties in, I believe, with the uh, ancient star worship uh, group of solar deities, three predominant solar deities in Egypt and three also in Sumeria. So it does seem to be a grand story of one truth. It starts off with the, the grouping as a three with the puma head above it. If you look on Wikipedia, you'll get this information as a reference. You'll see the Christ uh, reference here to the second one. To uh, the center of the diagram, you'll see an X. I believe that is the X that marks the spot. It is the bottom of the triangulation of stars. And I'm going to show you how I can prove these are three sunlight stars and that the Christ story is a part of it. Looking at the way to find this small little star, you can use the leg of the bull of the Pleiades. This looks like a leg shape. The ancient Egyptians believed it was a leg. I'll show you that in a minute. And you follow that leg shape to find this X star. Or you can use Orion, the three stars of Orion in a, in a row aligning to find the direction of the star. So the two basic ways the ancients used to find it. One using Orion, two using the Pleiades. The circumpunct is the Ra symbol. But to understand this Ra symbol, you need to understand these four other symbols that are on this image. The leg of the bull, top left. The winged disc below it. A disc that flies. I don't believe at all that it is the sun being depicted here. But it is a disc that shines like the sun and wings added to it to show that it can fly. The leg of the bull, by the way, thought by historians, is the Big Dipper. It's not that constellation and I'm going to show that it's the Pleiades. To the right we have the double cross, a cross within a cross. This is the cross of the churches and you'll see where its origins are found on the Key of Solomon. And below it the, the crescent but in a position that shows that it's not the moon. It is a sickle shape crescent. I believe it is a star with a planet in front of it. And I have a Sumerian artifact to prove this. The, the story really begins in Egypt in the Senma tomb. We're looking at the image here of the circumpunct right in the middle with a beam of light coming down from it. It is close to Isis and Isis, the solar deity goddess, is holding her son. In the Egyptian story of the, the, the trinity of three solar deities, it is Isis and her son, not S-O-N but S-U-N that, is, that she is attaching herself to in this image. But to understand the leg of the bull, we need to look at the earliest renditions. In the temple of Hathor and Dendara, we have the leg of the bull at the center of the zodiac disk. Now that leg is attached to the womb of the hippo goddess Tawaret or Theorus. We need to zoom in and have a look and see what we can see. You'll notice as well that the star beneath Tawaret has two deities on each side, one Isis and one a bull-headed god. The bull-headed crown 
is basically showing that he is of Taurus. And if you look at the top right hand side of the picture, you'll see Taurus the bull of the heavens, which scholars agree this is a representation of Taurus, is looking back at his leg that has been severed. Who severed the leg? The Theorus Hippo is holding the knife. Notice how the leg connects to the womb, it is very clear. Those little animals in green around the leg are probably the seven title, titles uh, of the seven stars that make up the leg. Now is it the Pleiades? This is what I believe it is here. How can I prove that this is the Pleiades? The answer lies in a coffin lid. It was the priestess of Hathor herself from Dendara. On her coffin lid she has the leg of the bull, but it has the stars filled in for the first time. And you can see with the shape, one large one at the knee part of the, the leg and two to the left as, as a, a close proximity to each other. The Pleiades have this formation and the leg is used as a pointer and you'll see two black dots in the lower part of the leg to point the way to show direction. Orion, uh, sorry, the Pleiades leg does have some movement and perhaps these two stars in the hoof area have moved around slowly over time. Let's go deep into the tomb of Senmat now and see the secret behind this circumpunct Ra symbol. In the roof of the, of the tomb there is a picture it of the center part of it and it has the leg of the bull it has uh, Orion as Horus showing the way and I'm showing you a graphic here just to show what I believe it uh, is interpreted as if it were simplified to make it a nighttime scene this is probably what it looks like it's Orion showing the way to the leg the leg has a crown of, of the bull on it and the star has a beam of light shining down to the earth the narrator of the story pointing up to it but the amazing thing is all the gods of ancient Egypt are present on the ground. To me that speaks of an arrival and they're showing where they came from. That is one artifact, one piece of evidence showing the Ra symbol is a star and not our sun. If you look back at the, the image again, that Ra symbol is a red dot with a red circle around it and it is in the context of stars around it. There is no chance that that is the sun. The Ra symbol is a sun-like star not our sun. The second ancient artifact, semi-ancient, it's not that, uh, that old, but it's a Freemason tracing board at the Bradford University in the UK. They have a document that shows the, so the sacred trinity, the three solar bodies in the sky. I believe it's Orion on the right, sorry not Orion, the Pleiades on the right hand side of the combination of three, the three solar bodies and it does have a beam of light coming down from the star. The star also has seven points of light on it. Now if you think of the Statue of Liberty, it has seven beams of light beaming from the head. That solar deity of liberty as a woman is probably the representation of the same phenomena, the secret of the sun-like star. Now is it really the Pleiades? We need more evidence obviously. But you can compare now, the Ra symbol is also on this diagram. It's at the bottom of the ladder. This is very important, or a beam of light, or a ladder, we're not sure. And there's also a key on the ladder. I believe the key represents the key of Solomon, and I'm going to detail that in a few minutes. Here I'm holding the key of Solomon artifact. It's a piece of paper copy that uh, is sourced from the British Library, from the Clavicular Solomonus Mat Manuscript. This is our third piece of evidence now. So we have three documents that show that this is a star and not the sun. You can see the star is at the center of the circle. It is a cipher. It's a pictographic cipher puzzle. This Dan Brown, I believe, uh, is, is uh, his favorite artifact, his favorite puzzle that shows the secret of our ancients. And on this puzzle, you'll see the sacred cross is shown in the, the 10 o'clock position and on the left is the key of Solomon. This is the same sacred cross showing its simplicity and how the church has adapted the cross within the cross. It will prove if this is really a star constellation of Orion, which I believe it is. So there are the three combinations. We have the star of the Sinma tomb, the star on the Freemason tracing board, and the star in the key of Solomon artifact. 